Hi. So what is the remedy you have when you file a check bounce case and uh, court issues NBW? First, court issues summons <coughs> to the issuer of the check or the accused. And when summons fail, court issues warrant, non available warrant. And uh, if accused is absconding and police can't trace out, <coughs> what is the remedy that is available? to the complainant of a check bounce case is what I'm going to share with you today. But before understanding the remedy for, that is available to the complainant when the accused is absconding or accused is missing or police are unable to trace out the accused or NBW is pending, we must understand <coughs> the fundamentals of the check bounce law. Check bounce law is a special law. Now there are two kinds of laws in in the, created by the parliament. One is a special law and other is a general law. Now when special law is created, it precedes general law. Like, uh, I would put it this way, uh, if MBBS doctor is a general doctor where you can go for all kinds of uh, diseases, a specialist is someone who has specialized knowledge. So once you decided to go to a specialist, you can't or you won't approach the generalist. So in the same way, when special law is created by the parliament, it means the general law is not working. That is why the special law is created. Not only special law is created for criminal uh, check bones cases, even special courts are created. So when special law is not functioning effectively, now court can't resort to the general law to make it effective because whenever special law is created by the parliament it gives more powers to the special law it uses a clause called notwithstanding clause which is called the non obstante clause in the legal language so that is the um, purpose of creating a special law and when special law fails it is a question mark before the court and court can do nothing that is why when accused is missing or accused is absconding when non bailable warrant is pending and which cannot be executed by the police court has to wait courts wait and that is why thousands and thousands of uh, check bones cases are pending in the court because court can't take next step because special law created for the check bones cases failed this is one ground and the second ground is you must understand the basic principle of how a criminal case is conducted in the court. The basic principle of a criminal case is that now to understand the basic principles of the criminal case, complaint is given in the police station, police conducts an inquiry, files a report in the court, court takes cognizance, conducts trial, punishes the accused or acquits the accused or may not consider the report of the police. So this is the fundamental basic principle of how a criminal case is conducted. Now when police files a report in the court, which is a positive report in the court that the complaint is not fake, the complaint is correct. Court takes cognizance of the offence. Listen carefully. Court doesn't take cognizance of the offender because offender is not yet decided. That will be decided subject to trial. In the trial he may be acquitted or in the trial he may be convicted. So court is not taking cognizance of the accused. Court is not taking cognizance of an offender. Court is taking the cognizance of the offense in a regular criminal case. But in a check bones case, the procedure is totally different. It is quite opposite. Court takes the cognizance of an offender, not the offense. The offense is taken at the last. I'll explain how. In a check bones case, the steps are very simple. The drawer issues the check. The complainant presents the check. Check gets bounced. Notice must be issued in 30 days. Wait for another 15 days and within 30 days file a check bounce case. After 30 days you can't file a check bounce case. So 30, 15, 30 is the timeline that is employed for filing a check bounce case. If you miss the timeline, the remedy is to go and uh, file a civil case against uh, the accused for recovery of money. Because basically it is a civil case. It has been given criminal flavor so that some speedy action will be taken by the drawers of the check. That is the purpose of. Uh, making it a criminal uh, case or giving a criminal flavor to a civil case. Basically, it is a money recovery case. So here, the offender is confirmed in a check bones case. 
unlike in a criminal case, the offender is not confirmed. The offender is confirmed only in the, at the end of the trial, at the end of the investigation. But here, prior to, there is no investigation here, prior to launching of the case itself, the accused is confirmed, the offender is confirmed. So, to, so here court is taking cognizance of an offender. Court is not taking the cognizance of an offence. Once the offender comes to court, after conducting trial, court comes to a conclusion and then takes cognizance of an offence. So the fundamental principle here is that in a criminal case, court takes cognizance of an offence but not offender. In a check bounds case, court takes cognizance of the offender but not the offence. Hope you understood the difference. So these are the two principles, special law, general law principle, cognizance of an offence, offender principle. These are the two principles which work against the law that is created by the parliament. So therefore, the remedy you have, now coming to the remedy, what you have, if the accused is missing or accused is absconding and the warrant is pending against him by the police, is that you have to go to the civil court and file a case for recovery of money. So, one more interesting point I would like to share here is, you can't tweak with the law. You can't tweak with the principles of law. Parliament may have tweaked it for the purpose of moving the wheels of the society or moving the wheels of the economy in a stable condition. But you can't tweak with the principles of law. Principles of law are eternal. As, as far as I understand, principles of law are eternal. So therefore, <coughs> check bounce law is on the verge of failing. The central government is already planning to do something with this failed law and many, many check bounce cases are pending because of this. So the best remedy, basic remedy is to file a suit for recovery of money if accused is absconding or missing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, kindly comment.